Hello Scratchers! In the last video, I introduced a quick extension in Gandhi ID. You can make visual effect with it in your Scratch game. But what about sound effect? It matters how games sound. I will show you a new demo. I hope you can watch the following part with headphone. There is a speaker in the room, right? Okay, let's move it. Can you hear it? The sound is coming from the left side. Move it to another side. Now, the sound is coming from the right side. Next, let's dive into the sea. Wow, the speaker sounds like it's underwater. I made all these sound effects with the Media Utils extension in Gandhi ID. There are a lot of new blocks to make your games sound better. I will introduce them in this video. If you have any questions or suggestions, join our Discord server and discuss with us. We also have a code analysis tool. It will give your project a grade based on your code. How many stars can you get? Come to try it. OK, let's go back to the editor. First, install Media Utils. Click on this button, find it and install it. You can see these new blocks to play video and audio in your game. I will introduce blocks of video next time. First one, lazy load audio and name it. The lazy load means that the media files will not be downloaded when a player opens the game for the first time. The file will be downloaded when it is used. It will greatly reduce the time to open the game in the first time. To use the lazy load, you need to upload files to the cloud backpack. Click on this button. You can find media here. Click upload. Choose one audio file. Now the audio file is in your cloud backpack. Let's go back to the code. Click on this button to reload lazy audio. Now you can find the file you just uploaded. The name can be any string. The default name is loop. Next block. When an audio resource is loaded, the event will be triggered. If you don't need a resource, you can dispose of it with this block. In the drop-down box, you can choose from audio, video, audio or video. The input should be the name you gave it in the lazy load block. The last block in this section will return a list of resources. In the first drop-down box, you can choose from loaded or not loaded. In the second one, there are audio, video, audio or video. Now, we have loaded an audio field. Let's play it. In this section, you can use this block to play an audio resource. The first input is the name of it. The second input is the starting point. You can start the audio at any point. For example, let's play the loop from the beginning. Then start playing the loop at 10 seconds. In the drop-down box, you can choose the mode. If you choose loop, the audio will repeat over and over again. If you choose stop, it will be played only once. Don't forget to load the audio before you play it. You can use this block to check the status of an audio. There are five options in the drop-down box. Use this block to pause, resume, or remove an audio resource. Let's try it. If you pause the audio, you can resume it. But if you remove it, the audio cannot be resumed. When the status of the audio is changed, 
this event will be triggered. There are four options in the drop down box. Use this block to get the properties of the audio. There are three options the current volume of the audio. It is measured in decibels, the current time in second, the duration of the audio in second. The last block in this section is used to ramp up or down the audio's volume. It is very useful to fit in or out an audio resource. Let's try it. Finally, we come to the last section, Audio Effect. There are five blocks. In all these blocks, you can choose which channel to apply audio effect. Master, our audio in the project. Media Util, our lazy load audio and video. Scratch, our music played by the sound block. First effect, Low Pass Filter. Low pass filter is the most useful filter in audio processing. A cut frequency should be set while using low pass filter. Set it to 44,100 to disable low pass filter. If you want to emulate a crazy neighbor playing music at midnight, try setting it to 800. It drives you crazy and you put a pillow over your ears, try setting it to 100. In the demo, I set it to 1000 to emulate the underwater sound effect. The second one, reverb. Reverb can be used to emulate spaces of different size. For example, if you want to emulate bedroom, set it to 1. Bathroom, 10. Church, 40. The third one, delay. Delay is similar to reverb, but the sound's reflection is clear. For example, if the sound is in the normal room, the delay can be set to 0.1, feedback can be set to 0.4. If the sound is in a valley, the delay can be set to 0.4, and feedback can be set to 0.1. The fourth one is volume, the loudness of the sound. The last one is pen. It's a balance of the audio. If it's set to minus one, it's only on the left. If it's set to one, it's only right. Zero is balanced. In the demo, the pen is set based on the X position of the speaker. You can use it in your game. You can see white in these blocks. Dry or white is a common term used in the audio engineering. It represents what percentage of sound pass the effector to mix with the original sound. Setting it to zero means only the original sound that is dry. Setting it to one means only the sound passed through the effector that is wet. 0.5 means 15% original sound with 15% affected. One more thing. We are planning to bring audio instrument including samplers and synthesizers to Scratch. 
Currently, you can play with this block. That's all. I can't wait to see what you can make with these blocks. Don't forget to post your games in the comment. Next time, I will introduce the video part of the media utils. Subscribe to this channel and don't miss it. See you next time.